So, here I pick one board, which really meets all modern amplifier requirements, and in my engineering opinion, the, this is best one. Not by quality, because by quality, there are plenty of boards which are equal, and once we have already exceeded human hearing uh, limits, then we're not talking about the quality. Ice Power Hypex, all boards has the same quality. Even marketing is saying some, some things different and referring some, uh, some parameters. No, today's all those boards are equal. And then I will talk about some specific uh, features of super advanced board. And this one is super advanced board. Quality of amplifiers largely defined by power supply. It is very complicated uh, a device besides amplification part. And here is power supply meeting all really tough requirements of uh, European Union, uh, which uh, regulates plenty of things, including electromagnetic compatibility, idle power, all those um, requirements requires certification in. Uh, trade union, specialized lab, independent lab. It's not just you provide a paper and everything's fine. No, someone else is looking for that and doing all the tests with your board and then giving this certificate. And it costs hell of the money, actually. When we look to specifics of this board, can you see what we are missing in a, in a power supply? We are missing this large capacity, large voltage primary capacitor. There is no such thing. Here is different architecture, it's innovation, uh, a lot of innovation is put uh, in, this, uh, in this board. And you can see the voltage is coming in, then, then it goes to, to filter, then it's a rectifier. And then you have those so-called PFC and the storage element is large inductor. This large inductor is taking the role of uh, this large capacitor. And capacitor life is short and it inductor life is virtually infinite. And this immediately increase a lifespan of those boards. Yeah. You can give it 20 years warranty for some designs where you put a high price and then you match this price with 20 years warranty. You can do that because there is no that one element uh, which has a short uh, lifespan by, by design. Even if you're not doing anything, it will dry out and then uh, dropping that uh, capacity and also is jeopardized uh, by some mains voltage peaks, so many things, here they eliminated it. Huge advantage. Ah, some 5 kilowatt capable transformer. Yeah, monster, monster here. Then, this is genius design. They put all storage capacitors on a secondary part. Those has a low voltage. Yeah, just 80 volts, 4,700 uh, microfarads. And those are really close to the power MOSFETs. Power MOSFETs are, are here, in beneath, there are eight of them. And you know, track is very short, you can pump huge instant power. And also those are backed by, by some parallel, that, that first sharp uh, storage uh, energy is, is, is here. When you put the mini in a, in a, in a parallel, then uh, you have a uh, low equivalent series resistance. Excellent, excellent design. Then you have a service flyback for a, for a idle, and then you have some 30 watts uh, power supply for no, service voltages. For example, if you want a preamp, or you want some, some uh, DSP, or you, you want some, some other, other device in it, here is a 5 volts, here is plus minus 15 volts, what you can stabilize to 12 volts. So good, so good, so good. Yeah. When you buy such board, and I'm system integrated, I'm saving a lot, and this is those are high quality components. If I buy, for example, volume, budget, uh, power supplies, those are not that reliable as this board provider or manufacturer is making. The, those are pretty expensive things here. If I do it separately, when those are integrated, I'm so thankful to this company. And I'm, as a system integrator, is uh, saying good words about uh, ice power that they built such type of architecture. What else? No, currently only ice power is able to build their own chipsets. And here we have 
Uh, I'm still thinking it's some Infanon uh, chipset uh, Danish company, and this is also Danish company um, Ice Power. So probably there is some specific modifications according Ice Power uh, specs. But um, the latest generation Class D boards, uh, they have this uh, pretty specific uh, feedback configuration, dual pole feedback configuration to achieve a maximum performance. And Bruno Puzze is also is using such a type of architecture and uh, this chipset probably support it. I don't have schem schematics of this uh, chipset. But uh, there are four channels. This is four channel Class D driver, and this is latest generation uh, Class D driver. What else? There are proprietary chipsets to drive high power MOSFETs, and this is also good uh, that uh, you put it in in a chip. With a chip, you have one lit lithography process, and with one lithography process, uh, you can make uh, really precise uh, drivers for MOSFETs. And then you have, here you have innovation, here you have innovation, and step by step you get this maximum performance. And it's very good to copy, almost impossible to copy. And I'm not talking, uh, I guess, I'm not sure, but I guess this is four layer uh, board uh, to meet all those requirements, because when you look at a component's density, that's uh, really dense. And uh, I think this is four layer board. Again, such type of the board is significantly more expensive than a dual layer board. And then you can meet all those requirements for the proper grounding, for, for high current, pulse, and so many things. Even vias, how those are done in this uh, high current uh, area are important. One more thing about the heat dissipation. And look, you put a thick plate along all board. That means heat is distributed in a wide area and there's this wide area you can uh, screw to the chassis, you can screw to the heat sink if you if, if you need it, but with the chassis is a fine. Genius, genius. And all those power MOSFETs are here. And also here is those power MOSFETs. You can see even even uh, insulation uh, part part of that. And what we see beneath you can see that there are plenty of screws and you are really screwing tight and flat to heat sink, let's say, to chassis. Each small item really has some innovations. Those engineers sought to the tiniest details. And there are plenty of telemetry and uh, uh, there is place for hunger module. You can build uh, some configurations uh, as a, as a multi-channel. Uh, using the same power supply, but not much, only one hunger model, module could be used. If this board could be able to handle two hunger modules, I would make uh, active speaker system uh, based on this board. Unfortunately, it can handle only, only one. What is the instant power capability of this power supply? Those are 3.8 kilowatts, and they are delivering 2 times 600 watts for 8 ohms and for 4 ohms. And the last thing which is unique, it is amplifier architecture. It's so-called quadro-balanced architecture, or in simple words, there are four channels, four amplifiers, and they are set in a pairs in bridged configuration. And this is the best possible quality what you can make from class D amplifier, because you're eliminating that so-called bus pumping effect. So then those amplifiers really effi effectively use power supply. And you know, four channels, they decided. What is the effect of that? So with this amplifier, you can get the same power for 8 ohm speakers and 4 ohm speakers. For 4 ohm speakers, those are limited by protection current. And for 8 ohm speakers, those are limited by bus power. So you have low rail, rail voltages, just 80 volts, no, below 80 volts. I don't know which exactly, about 70 volts, hard to say. Uh, but uh, you can get huge power with a low rail voltage. It's safety, uh, you can use commodity components, the price is better, easy to certify, fantastic. So, 
In each point this board has some unique features. And the last thing about the dimensions, uh, so those are inches. I'm living in centimeters but in opposite side of this uh, pad there are centimeters uh, but it's white it's not good uh, the gray is much better for a webcam and on the webcam I can show you and I can show you this board in, a, in right colors yeah the gray always works uh, well for uh, for a webcams and uh, it's small yeah it's small so in my opinion today this is the best board in the world I haven't found any similar power similar architecture similar functionality and uh, with a lot of telemetry also there is a 12 volt trigger operation built in i just need to configure it and there's one more thing what you can do you can do so-called wake up from signal uh, for example uh, if you set it in that configuration you can make in a way that uh, amplifier is in idle and when you switch on preamplifier and start to play music then it wakes up and uh, starts to operate at a sleeping uh, mode amplifier uh, consumes 0.25 watts maybe may, mainly that's uh, this uh, uh, flyback uh, and uh, some standby 5 volts uh, operation with a, with a low current but that mean uh, you can put some uh, extra extra circuits as well and fed it uh, during the sleeping and then you switch off your your preamp your signal after 18 minutes minutes not seconds it's pretty long time after half an hour it's going to sleep so if you forgot to switch it off uh, it will switch off uh, after after that time so you can put it 12 ohm managed or you can do it from wake up from signal sometimes when you have uh, an all large hall with uh, plenty of uh, systems you can loca locate amplifier close to the speakers and uh, don't manage it by switching it on and off now for a home usage you can place it invisible under the table on shelf close to speakers and forget about it yeah. and since it's end game amplifier quality is so fantastic that uh, you shouldn't think that you can get better or nicer no and everything is integrated and there is no uh, direct competition for this board currently you can build similar solutions but then you need uh, several models you need a separate power supply you need a separate uh, each channel amplifier if you want to put in a bridged uh, configuration which is the best one then you need to buy two boards for uh, for each of them and so many things and this integrated by design here everything is integrated by design and what does it mean for for us for hobbyists for for uh, even for uh, specialists so easy to integrate and you have audio field quality in that size in my opinion currently this is the best board board in the world and one more feature which is important for normally such type of uh, modern professional grade boards are not available in retail you you can't buy you should buy in a volume or sign some some agreement and they keeping it uh, kind of away away from uh, end user but ice power has a different strategy boards are available for everyone and i will show you one place no two places where you can easy get them and lucky european system builders and users can buy any of ice power designs and i think this is a really wise uh, policy not limit to specific channels because then this company really solving on uh, on serving their uh, own shopping you can buy a prototypes and you can uh, buy a small batches uh, you can do several things here is ice power 1200 days 2 the board that i shown it is in stock yeah then several pictures of this board this is so fair price yeah, you can you can build really honest uh, 500 watt amplifier 450 watt super clean power amplifier for that a reasonable price at such quality it is impossible it is impossible it's a kind of bandit yeah. and if you have a small company you can buy it even without VAT but as end users uh, yeah in in EU we buy with a, with a VAT fantastic 
Actually, there is elder brother for 100 euros more. You can buy kilowatt per channel amplifier. No, come on, no, come on, in, 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 impossible. Kilowatt per channel, this is for Macintosh, this is a cubic meter of metal. Uh, come on, 60, 60 kilograms. And here, and this is why I'm saying that this is currently best board in the world. First, it's accessible for uh, end users, and everyone can build endgame amplifier. Yeah, it's ruining industry, I know, but uh, market is changing and we should adapt. How about my American and Canadian colleagues or hobbyists? I have a good news. There's a large re retailer in uh, in America, Parts Express, and I think uh, Canadians also has access to this uh, shop. Uh, they're showing uh, no low price, but this is because I'm outside of America. Definitely, you should pay local VAT and uh, I don't know, whatever else, uh, prices are, are similar. But this board is available also there. And could you imagine how big is the market for, for those who want to build world best amplifier, end game amplifier, huh? even free shipping over 99. Come on. Okay, I'm lucky owner of such board. So some a little bit summarize, you see, this is state-of-the-art board. I don't know how many years uh, engineers worked until they release it. Uh, I found some literature about the seven years. Could you imagine investments that the team is working for seven years and they release, released several boards and finally this is an endgame. Ice Age and some, some specific names. And Ice Power made it available for the AI people. And it's not the same with the Hypex. Hypex professional lineup is not accessible for end-user or DIY people who want to build something. You can buy some second hand somewhere uh, in the eBay's, but uh, no warranties, no it's, uh, reliability. And one more thing, what is important, continuity. Once you put so much R&D, this board will stay in the market, I'm pretty sure, for, for 20 years. Because it's so optimized and there will not be uh, China cheap analogs or, or something it's not simple to build it. By far not simple. This is state-of-the-art engineering and also there's innovation what is hidden in the chipsets and Infineon is uh, uh, currently top company, strategic company and some knowledge is limited to be provided for, for non-EU companies including China market so those innovations will stay in a company and I think uh, that uh, the design on those boards are, are built in Malaysia, not in China, not uh, not in other regions. So, so they keeping their secrets in and uh, price point is fantastic and unbeatable.